This lesson deals with the semiconductor diode. You can find these notes in the course ebook in chapter 9 on page 8. The non-ideal diode, or the real diode, has the same symbol we used before, but we're going to fill in the arrowhead. Still going to have an anode and a cathode, a positive and a negative terminal. And our default notation is anode to cathode for a voltage and the current flowing from anode to cathode. Now in plotting this, the voltage current relationships look like an exponential where the line here is pretty much up and down like we had before, but just shifted from the origin. We're gonna call this voltage VD on. Now this is actually a pretty complicated equation. It actually has no closed form solution. So we do a piecewise linear fit to it like we did for the ideal diode. Let me propose a model for the non-ideal diode. I'm gonna use two straight line segments where instead of having the short circuit we had before, we're now going to have a voltage that's not zero, but we'll call VD on. So this looks like the curve above, but it is an approximation, and the worst errors are right here at this sharp corner. And the model for this is just going to be an ideal diode and a battery. Now, why is this true? Well, when the current in the diode is positive, this becomes a short circuit, and the voltage V sub D is just equal to VD on. Now, when the diode is off, what's the condition for the voltage V sub D? Let me call this voltage V sub X because we're calling V sub E the actual diode now. So the rise in voltage would equal the drops around the loop. So V sub X would equal V sub D, let's go around the loop this way, minus V D on. Now this has to be less than or equal to zero to be true. And that implies that V sub D is less than V D on. So whenever V D, which is here, is less than V D on, we have an open circuit. So there's our two line segments. Now what are some practical values for diodes? We'll primarily be using a silicon diode. And if you put about a milliamp of current through it, it's roughly about 700 millivolts. This does depend on the physical size of the diode. And there are power diodes, there are switching diodes. They would have slightly different voltage, but somewhere in that neighborhood of 700 millivolts. We've all seen LEDs, and this is short for light emitting diode. Different material than the silicon. But for a red LED, the VD on is about 1.6 volts. For yellow, about 1.7. For green, about 1.8. For blue, about 2.8. And for white, about 3.8. We'll look at some of these in the lab part of the course. And this is the semiconductor or non-ideal diode. 